Hi, this is Dr. Jenny, and we're on Unit 2 videos. Uh, we're looking at problem 10-3, and essentially what we're calculating here is the common stock valuation. Um, I've got the formula listed uh, right here. Half the time is figuring out which formula applies. And so this is the valuation of common stock. You see the little CS down there. Uh, dividends at uh, zero, and then our G is the growth, and the R is the required return. So I essentially what I've done is I've pulled out the information um, out of the problem, and then what we have to do is just apply this formula. So once we apply the formula, we're taking $3.50 times the 1 plus the growth. Sometimes this is uh, quicker to do. I can do 1.05 there. In fact, I'll show you that I can do that. And um, we then have in the denominator is the required return minus the growth. So we come up with the common stock value of 2450. Now you may wonder why companies even care about the stock price. Um, they don't participate in the secondary market. They essentially only get money when they have an initial public offering. So what's the deal? And so I, what I did is I uh, actually took a, a look in Investopedia, and they have an article in there that, um, and you can click that link if you'd like to look at it, that typically talks about the reasons that uh, a company would care. Uh, one is that they use it for stock incentives for their own employees, and a lot of the managers will actually have quite a few um, shares of stock themselves. And then um, overall, and the uh, second reason is that if if it continues to underperform um, and the stock price falls, that stockholders will band together and actually set up a proxy fight to change management. So um, there's definitely a, you know, a, an eye on the stock market and how they um, actually compare to their um, competitors and, and th so on. So hopefully this will kind of help you understand why you would even be doing a uh, calculation like this and we'll be using this same formula in the next problem and actually taking it a step further. So hopefully this will help you understand this and I look forward to talking to you again.